Um, hello, um, my name is Kristen Hickman. Um, a little story that I like to tell people, um, it's kind of sad, kind of not. I just, I like to tell people it because I think it's kind of cute. Um, my daughter, which is four and a half, almost five now, um, when she was three, she had to get her top four teeth taken out because she had fell somehow, smacked her face, and broke them on the inside, and we didn't know. And so when I finally went to the dentist, they realized, and they told me, we, we've got to get them out. But anyway, whenever we went to bring her to surgery, that morning, she didn't want to go. She was just throwing a fit and just being fussy. Well, whenever we got out of surgery, a few hours later, she realized she didn't have no teeth right there. And so she was, like, freaking out. And then she got really excited because she realized she could just suck the noodles through her mouth and I guess close her mouth all the way and they would just go right through because there wasn't no teeth there so she was very excited over that but um right before we went to go to bed that night after she got out of the bath and everything um I went to take a picture of her and she said mommy I don't want no picture and I said why baby and she said because I'm not beautiful no more mommy and even though she was three and she didn't understand I still explained to her baby that your teeth aren't what make you beautiful you're beautiful anyway <sighs> and so she finally accepted it. She's like, yeah, I am beautiful. And so that's just a cute little story that I like to tell people. It's just, I just think it's cute. Okay. Um, as, you know, from now, you know, my name is Kristen Hickman. And I have a four-year-old, almost five-year-old daughter. Um, but some things about me is, I'm sorry, I just get nervous. Um, the reason I'm taking this class is because right now I am majoring in LBN, but I'm wanting to become an RN eventually when I can, when I am able to get past LBN. Um, and also I'm hoping that this can, this class can help me speak more proper and can help me get over my fear of talking to people and in front of people that I do not know. Um, so... Now, we're going to be talking about me. Like I said, of course, you know, my name is Kristen Hickman, and I have a four-year-old daughter, almost five. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm 21 years old. Um, some people do look at me kind of funny because of my daughter's age, and um. Because I did have her at 17. I was in high school. Um, I finished out my senior year early, but I did walk with my class. I finished it early, and I got to stay home for the last few months of my senior year, and I walked with my class. <sighs> and all of that. And um, my personality, I feel like myself, is... I am a very, I try to be happy, and I try to be helpful as much as I can, um, I do, I'm very shy, and I'm very, I second guess myself a lot, a lot, but I mean, that's how I feel like I am, is I'm a very happy, good person, I try my hardest, and sometimes whenever I feel, I question myself, I feel like I'm not doing as good as I should, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that, that kind of sums me up, I guess, a little. Um, now that <laughs> you, this is the best I could do right now, because I'm nervous, I don't really know exactly how to do this and whatnot. Um, now that you know a little bit about me, and I feel like I introduced myself as best as I could, I guess I'll leave off on a note of uh, a quote that I found and that I like very much. Um, and it goes like this. I'm sorry, I have to read it off of a note card. Um... I've learned people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And who said this was something named Maya Angelou. I feel like that is a very, it's a very good quote, especially for right now because, well, not necessarily right now, but I feel like people, like first impressions, they know, they will know exactly who you are just by how you present yourself and how you speak to them, whether or not you are polite or impolite or if you consider their feelings or not, or just how you talk, how you dress, all that. But um, 
So thank you very, very much. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I get a lot better with this. Uh, I hope you have a good day, and I hope that Hurricane Laura did not mess anything up for you. Thank you very much. Bye.